Hi gang, this is Dr. Ron Capps, the Niche Prof. Today I wanted to share with you a simple, easy way to repurpose text content uh, to create little billboards for you around the various social media sites and online that you can use uh, as well as you can make available to other people to use to share your content and passively promote your site. So some of you have been seeing some quotations I've been posting. Uh, recently I've been posting some quotes from uh, Les Brown, Tony Robbins, uh, Zig Ziglar, and generally they will look like this. Now today I'm going to show you how you can create one of those and I'm going to show you also how you can even add further personalization and I'm going to do that in this video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to point out that I'm using right now a program called Urban View and I'll go over and I'll pull that into the screen. So if you go to urbanview.com, you'll be able to go in and you can download urbanview and you can also download the various plugins and add-ons for urbanview. Now this is shareware programs and uh, I find it a great program to use for working with graphics. Uh, I find it very functional, uh, very quick, very easy and I suggest that if you uh, have the opportunity you go ahead and you download the copy and begin to play around with it to see what you can do. Okay, let's go ahead and put that back over there. And let's go ahead and let's put this back over there. Oh. Okay, let's go down. And now let's go in and let's go ahead and let's create a new, uh, more customizable template that you can use to put quotations or other text or things that you want to share into. I'm going to go into my folder here and I'm going to take an image of a niche prop. This is a profile image I use. Right now I'm using 120 width here. Uh, I do have one that's uh, smaller. I do have them larger. We're going to try the 120 though. I'm going to tell it I want it to open Earth in Earthen View. And if I go over, you can see where it has been opened in Earthen View. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to frame that image in Urban View and I'm going to go up and I'm going to copy that image. Next what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create a new image. So I go to images create new image and you'll see that I've already preset dimensions for the image I want to create of 640 by 480 pixel. You can make this be whatever you want. You can choose how you want to have the colors uh, choices. Uh, you can go black and white all the way up to uh, you know the highest color intensity and then you can choose your background color. The background color is the one I've chosen to use for most of these billboards. However, merely by clicking on that you can go in and you can choose or mix uh, any custom color that you would want for your background color. Okay, just like using the color wheels. Now I'm going to come on back out and let's go ahead and let's say OK. Yep, i got to go ahead and I guess and choose it again. Let's see what's going on here. There we are. All right, new image. Now I've created a new image, 640 by 480, and I want to put my photo profile photo in here so we've got face on the piece as a billboard and let's go ahead and let's put it down here in the let's put it in the lower right I started to put in the lower left let's go to the lower right and we draw a box approximately the size of the profile image we're going to want to put in and we're going to go up to edit and we're going to tell it paste and what it's done is it's pasted the image in to this new graphic. Now, I don't want to only have the face there. I also want to have uh, some text there. And I'm going to put into this particular one. Oh, let's go in and let's put in something to the effect of... Okay, let's do a box approximately that size 
and we want to tell them that whatever is above is courtesy of the niche prop. So let's go ahead and let's insert text into the selection. And whatever text you want to put in, you can put in right here. And so we're going to try courtesy of Dr. Ron Caps, the niche prop. Oh, better watch what the cursor is doing, don't I? Okay, and I want to add a second line where I want to give it a blog or a website. And this is merely a billboard. It is not necessarily a clickable link unless whenever it's posted, you set it up as a clickable link. And I tell them that I want to choose for this purpose a nice easy font. Let's go for a Tahoma. And let's go for, oh, let's try about a 14 point. And let's go black on the cream color. And let's tell it we want to center it in that box. And let's see if it will fit. It fits fine. Now if I want, what I can do is I can narrow the box down a little bit. And go back and let's undo the edit go in and reinsert the text and there we go okay now let's click off that and let's say I want to at this point create a template what I can do is I can go over here I can save as You'll notice I already have a quote template here, but let's call it quote template with photo. And as you can see, it's now a quote template with photo. Now I want to add a quotation here. So let's go up and draw a text box in again. And let's go over and let's choose a quotation. Let's choose something from Zig Ziglar. Now I've got thousands of quotations on sheets that you can go in and pull from. I try to choose quotations that are appropriate to motivation, success, attitude formation, and other things that people might find of interest or help them get going during the day. Uh, here's one uh, from Zig Ziglar that is both amusing and also uh, to the point regarding motivation. And so I normally will put in a line like that. We go ahead and we copy it here. We now come back over to the box and we want to insert text again. Now you'll notice the text that I put in there before is still in this box. Okay, I don't want to have that text here again, but remember I have already saved it to photo, uh, quick quote template with photo, so it will be there as well as the photo uh, on into the future. So let's just go ahead and clear that out, and let's paste in the quote from Zig Ziglar regarding motivation and bathing. And let's go back and let's choose a different font. I tend to like fonts like Georgia. They're a nice clean font. And let's go in and let's make it a bold font. And let's see if a 22 point font might fit, uh, given the fact that we have less room in the bottom of the template because of the height of the photo. 
and click on that and let's always I on quotes and so forth text I like to left justify it and oh yeah there's plenty of room there so I'll tell you what I'm going to do I'm going to go back I'm going to undo that and I'm going to go back in I'm going to insert text again and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to bump it back up where I was before on the other without the photo and we're going to tell it 24 point and there we are so I click off this and I go to save as and that is a quotation from Zig Ziglar under quote images and I call it motivation and bathing Zig Ziglar okay so people often say that motivation doesn't last well neither does bathing that's why we recommend it daily and we go on back over the next thing I would do with this particular quotation would be I would go into a place like my curated by thread and I will go in and I won't post it there quite yet I'm going to post it to pixel pipe first and I will call it a quick post and what I will then do is I will go in and you can see quotations up there without the photo but let's go in and now let's choose a file and the file we're going to choose is one from my quote images that's in my F drive and we go on down here to quote images Zig Ziglar motivation and bathing and we're going to give it a title compares daily motivation to bathing and then right here we're going to go back to the sheet I'm going to go in I'm going to take a copy of the full quotation in text form I'm going to come back over I'm going to paste it in here I'll backspace and then we do a zig ziggler and notice the hash mark on quote quotation and let's go in and add a few other keywords here motivation daily motivation bathing recommend and let's go ahead and notice I also have in there Dr. Ron Cabs, Niche Prop, and my Twitter ID. And we tell it we want to upload it. And that is what it would look like. I've submitted it to different sites. It tells you it's already gone to them. We'll come on over to Flickr. and let me pull the Flickr site over here there it is already in Flickr that there was no pause between that you can see how quickly it gets posted you can see how what we just created is already up on Flickr and now we'll go back and finish up with the curation of it we'll go and we'll make it a short link we'll copy that link we will go ahead and we will put that back over on the other screen we will come back over to curated by we will go in at that point and I will add it to my quotations thread on curated by and by the way if you're watching this uh, video when it was first produced currently I believe there's still a few 
uh, available missions to go in and mark and share my curated by quotation area. We go to quotes. We take the link that I just created linking to Flickr. We post it in here using a control V. We add it to the bundle. And we are waiting for it to pop in here. If I go ahead and hit it again, it will probably tell me it is already there. Yep, already a link already exists. You can see what we just put up right there. I now come on over and I use my own link shortener so I can track all the traffic and so forth. And so this is going to be a quotation from Zig Ziglar. I refresh the screen so that we've got current data. I will then go in and I will look to see where my last Zig Ziglar quote was. And there it is, Zig Ziglar quote 002, no, 003C. So we're going to call this one 004C. And we do Zig Ziglar quote. Now you'll notice I'm not doing this necessarily to make the link shorter. I'm doing it for the purposes of being able to track it better. And we go on back over and there it is. And at that point I can copy it and I can go on over and I can add it to a pixel pipe as a text link, uh, a blog post. I can then go in, I can add it to Google Plus and put it out that way and share it across using my social distribution system. So gang, I hope that gives you an idea of how simple it is for you to create little mini billboards uh, around the social sites and the internet, not only to promote yourself, uh, but to share good information with people, things that might motivate them, things they might use, and things they might even place on their own websites uh, as a way of spreading your brand. Uh, think of it much like a real estate broker putting signs around the neighborhood. Uh, that's really what you're doing, and that's all part of being social and succeeding online. Okay, for today, that's Dr. Ron Kapsenichroff wishing you success on and off the avenue, and in all you may try. Take care, all.